Hey everybody, this is Carolyn Burnett with Sound of Lexington and we have got with us today the band Idlewild out from Richmond, Kentucky and our special host for today is Jeff Allen. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> Alright, well how are you all doing today? Wonderful. Yeah, right. Excellent, excellent. excellent. Very excellent. Fun. Yeah, I hit up with you all. I heard you all play a little bit. I was going to say, I figured I was going to hate all of you. <laughs> I lived in an apartment studio for three years, and wow. I had two different neighbors, and they were both musicians, oh, and man. they practiced a lot. Perfect. <laughs> and, yeah, and that wasn't great. Maybe it was me, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> or maybe it does take two years to learn Stairway to Heaven. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Were they in key with each other, or was it? it uh, not great. It wasn't great. No. no. Um, <laughs> two years. Okay. Was it would take two years. <laughs> but how do I get started? I guess let's start with that. Oh man, um, 2012. I think it was. We were both. We were still in college. Yeah. yeah we, we met in college, like freshman year of college. Kevin and I just hit it off, and then um, we were both in the guitar program okay. uh, at EKU, and so we met there. And then Brian joined the guitar program program about a year later, yeah. you know, something like that. Yeah. 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 And so we were we had all been friends and stuff. Um, and then eventually, I just decided I was like, hey, I'm like 20, and I've never been in like a real band before, so I just wanted to do it because I've been playing guitar since I was 15. I've been singing since I was like three years old. And so um, yeah, we just put something together. Kevin on lead guitar, Brian was on bass. Uh, I was singing with some guitar, and we had another drummer in the band at that time. Okay. Um, we did some stuff for about a year or so, um, and then I actually went abroad, and we split up during that time that I was abroad, um, had a break for about a year, and then came back, and when I came back, we started, you know, missing the old days and formed again, and <laughs> yeah, uh, together, um, yeah. we got Matt, uh, Matt was a piano uh, master student at EKU, okay. and asked him if he was interested, and he joined, and he plays at a church um, at Red House Baptist, mm -hmm. and uh, he okay. met Spencer there. And so we needed a drummer because our original one was out of town. So he kind of fell off the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe he didn't like it ever. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, but uh, then he hooked us up with Spencer, and Spencer's been great. Yeah, so. it's, been, it's been good. We actually did have um, another former guitar major playing bass for a little while too. Um, oh yeah, Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Hunter, yeah. Um, he picked up after Brian. Um, or after our, our little hiatus, and he, yeah. went, he I went to Florida for a little bit. Yeah, so we oh, we've yeah. gone through a couple iterations of, of members um, until we got to where we are now. Yeah. Is this your favorite iteration of members? Oh yeah, it's my favorite. You know we have to say it. No, I hate everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we hate each other. <laughs> so. All right, well, I'll do an important question. Sure. If you all hit it really big. And then in like 30 years, did a behind the music VH1 special. Who do you think would be the fattest? Who would be on it? Watch, I'm kidding. Brian and I just like, you're really thin, and Spencer's just like, massive. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool though, he's got drums, so he can just hide behind the head. Yeah, yeah. 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 that works. See my face, fat arms, like everywhere. We'll get you drum pack drums like this, so no one can see your face. You'll be playing some different drum sticks at that time. <laughs> oh, 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 the bones. Oh. All right. Well, I love this group. Yeah, it is. Of course. We just like to have a good time. Yeah, man. Hang on. One time I booked a stand up show and it was supposed to be for 21 and up. I didn't know anything about it, but the guy was cool. And then I got there and it was at a fair outside and there were a bunch of little kids everywhere running around. Oh, oh sweet. And then a nine year old kid like tried to heckle me during my set. <laughs> I went up, they like auctioned off a Mountain Dew pound cake to the town, and the town was excited about it. Oh, so it sure. wasn't really my demographic. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the worst show I've ever done, I think. Oh, What's one of the worst shows you all have ever done? Oh, I just oh, want to say, man. it's hard to outdo Mountain Dew pound cake. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it worse. No, we, yeah, we, so right before Jacob went to Japan, we played a show in Winchester. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll not mention the... Place. Yeah, it's, it'll, be, it'll remain It doesn't matter, it's not there anymore. That's <laughs> true, that's very true. It's too much information. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, we, we got booked there through a friend um, who I don't think really understood the type of venue that it was. Yeah. He told and us it was a country place. Yeah, okay. so we worked up a bunch of country songs, but it wasn't 
We got there yeah. and like we talked to the owner like the weekend before. We met with him, and he was really apprehensive about booking us. He was like, I don't know, you guys are kind of young. <laughs> and he was like, I don't want to take a chance on you guys. And and we sat there for maybe 20 minutes of like our friend trying to get us booked there. And I was about ready to leave, because I was like, this guy obviously doesn't want to book us. You know, he's not going to enjoy us no matter what, because he's against us from the start. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to leave, and like, as I was about to be like, well, we're heading out, he was just like, okay, I'll give you all a chance. And I was kind of like, crap. <laughs> you should have stuck to your guns. Yeah, I, I should have, but uh, but I didn't. And so um, he had a stage and stuff, and it was nice. But uh, we didn't have a PA at that time, and okay. he didn't have monitors either, so we, we couldn't, couldn't hear ourselves. ourselves but, we had different gear too, so we had yeah. we were we were playing on some smaller amps, and you know, not necessarily set up to do that type of, type of a show. Right so and of course, we walked in with our you know. Our little rolling cubes and and the, about that big. Yeah, the guy was like, "Do you think those things can keep up with everything else?" Like, oh, dude, they're surprisingly loud. Just let, it's 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 all good. But we got some dirty looks and yeah. Well, he, he was, was like, he, "Don't." He was working the soundboard too. Oh, yeah, and he, he was a couldn't guy. do it. Okay. And it was a oh, tiny so. sound booth, and so like <laughs> this big guy <laughs> sucked at it, man. It was terrible. Yeah, so, I, I don't know why, but like every time someone says like with my sound, you're gonna sound amazing, and then it just sounds terrible. Terrible. Lies. <laughs> Lies. If they just say it sounds terrible, I'd be like, yeah, at least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we played we played the show, and we were doing well. People were responding to us. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was as packed as he wanted it to be. It wasn't that. Um, it was the same night as a UK game. Oh, okay. and so, so of course, was, yeah. you know, people wanted to watch the game. They don't want to see us. You know, compared to the UK. Mm -hmm. um, but uh. There was a decent crowd, but it wasn't, you know, crazy. Yeah, yeah it wasn't crazy. But um, he was kind of getting upset with us. He, in between one of our sets, he's like, hey, you guys, uh, he had two girls, like, dancing. And he would play, he like, like R&B, yeah. yeah, club club music and, like, hip-hop yeah. stuff in between our set, which is fine. I like that stuff, but we were but told it was a country bar. Music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thought it was, it was country anything bar. but a country <laughs> bar. <laughs> yeah. so, and so, like, uh, he had, like, two girls dancing on the floor, and he was like... <laughs> Think you can keep that up? And I was like, uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, and, uh, so we like cut out all of. We had a couple slow songs, cut those yeah. out, did all the fast songs, and people were into us. Like they weren't wanting to dance because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to dance, but uh, they were into us. They were watching us. They were drinking and stuff. And uh, he had the bouncer actually pull us off the stage yeah, in like, the middle of our set, and. So I was like, all right, we'll be back in just a second, sorry. Literally the whole bar full of people was like, no! Like right. they freaked like, out, they didn't want us okay. to leave. And, but he still did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs>